Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And uh, this is the first tutorial that I'm going to do for you for Explain 11. And in this tutorial, we will be learning how to make flight plans and enter it into flight management system. Um, it's a very interesting uh, thing to do. It took me a great deal of uh, effort to learn how to make a flight plan and enter into FMS. But I'm going to make sure that this tutorial is really easy for you, especially for the beginners. If you're a professional, this video is not for you. Uh, you must be looking out for some other tutorials. But if you're a new person and you're just uh, learning how to uh, fly planes in flight simulator and make flight plans, this is the right video for you. Uh, in order to make a flight plan, uh, you should have your airport charts. And this is the most important things. The airport chart of the airport from, from where you're going to take off and the airport chart of the airport where you're going to land. So these are the two airport charts that you should have uh, with you and uh, then you're going to make a flight plan with the help of it and then afterwards we will be entering it into fms that's the flight management system so as you'll go along in this tutorial uh, you'll get to uh, look at all the aspects of flight planning so let's have a look at this airport chart um, but the plan that i'm going to make is uh, i'm going to fly from jina international airport karachi and i'm going to land at dubai international airport uh, so these are the two charts that i've downloaded uh, the airport chart for Karachi airport is OPKC and for Dubai it's OMDB. These are the ECAO signs for both the airports. These are the airport charts. Um, there's one thing I would like to mention is this, that these airport charts are strictly for the simulation basis. And uh, they might have the real world information, but they must be really used for simulation. And they're easily available on the internet. So if you look at this chart, um, it's the real map. And it's kind of difficult to read, but uh, you can download a few maps and you can just keep on going through it. And uh, afterwards, uh, you'll get acquainted to these airport charts. Uh, so this is the Karachi airport. Every airport has got a SID and a STAR. SID is basically standard instrument departure and STAR is standard arrival. Now, when we'll talk about uh, the Karachi airport, we are going to basically find the SID of the airport. That's the departure because we are going to depart from this uh, airport, the Karachi airport, and we are going to land at Dubai airport. And for Dubai airport, we have to find the star. First of all, uh, just have a look at it. This is the runway direction. Uh, here's the sea. Here's the map of Pakistan. And here's Karachi. And uh, Dubai is just like this way. So once we are going to take off from Karachi, um, from either of these runways, and if you're heading towards this side, we will be taking this route. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the SID for the Karachi airport. Okay, so we're going to take off from either of these runways and we are going to basically reach Melum, M-E-L-O-M. And from here, we're going to head towards Dubai. Once we will reach Dubai, we have to now find the star. So this is just only reading the charts and then I will tell you how to basically make it. Uh, the flight plan in um, the online flight planners that are available right now in, on the web. So this is the Dubai airport chart and uh, this is Dubai. This is the sea and this is the land. Uh, once you're approaching Dubai, you will be, if you're coming from Karachi especially, you'll be coming in from here. So you should know these basic things because this is very important to know while making a flight plan. Uh, from which place you're coming and how you'll be approaching the runway. So we will be approaching the Dubai uh, International Airport um, from this direction, uh, coming from Karachi. So it's Bubin. So this is how we're going to do it. And then the rest, um, I'm going to just take you along with that. Now, uh, let's have a look at the websites that are available um, on the web on which you can go and make your flight plans. This website I, s I generally use when I'm uh, using the Asian airports. Uh, specifically and for the European and for the American airports I use this um, uh, website it's onlineflightplanner.org uh, Simbrief is another website that I use and as I told you before it's for the Asian airports uh, so I would also recommend you to do basically switch between these two sites and see which website gives you the best flight plan uh, so right now for the Karachi to Dubai flight I'm going to use uh, the Simbrief uh, this is a very good um, website it doesn't require a credit card, but it needs you to make an account. It's a free account, so you can easily make it as I've made my account already. So now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to make a flight plan. 
and uh, I'm going to go into this option dispatch and I'm going to my flight plan. Okay, so right now I don't have any active uh, briefings of flight plans. So I'm going to make a flight plan. I'm going to click on my flight plan and then I'm going to select a new flight. Okay, so once you click this, uh, you'll see this page opening up and over here you're going to make your complete flight plan. It's very easy. Uh, just forget about the airline a flight number. If you want to enter, you can enter that departure. So departure is OPKC. That's Karachi and arrival is ONDB. So this is the departure and the arrival airport aircraft type. So we are going to select uh, Boeing 737-800 because this is what we will be flying today, which is the uh, default airplane that comes with X-Plane 11. Uh, so we have selected this uh, airplane. Uh, no need to enter these things unless you really want to do some professional flight planning. It's really very basic level flight planning. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Now, the most important thing is this, that we have to select the departure runway and the arrival runway. So now let's have a look at the departure runways and the arrival runways. Okay, so let's make these charts available to read. And here you go. So over here in the flight plan, if you keep on going down, you'll see these runways. Okay, so this is basically the approach. So we are not basically going to check the approach ILS. Okay, so these are the approach runways. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this. I am going to select 25 right. You can select 25 right. I'll be taking off from Karachi from 25 right and arrival runway in the way will be we'll be obviously arriving from this direction so it will be either the left or the right uh, runway so let's select the left runway and that will be which one so let's read the chart i'm also basically making you go through all these charts so that you get familiar once you start reading it on your own So let's have a look at it. Just keep on going down and you'll find this runway. So we have to keep these runways open in front of us so that um, we can make the flight plan later because there's some information that will be required from these flight plans. So obviously we're not coming from this direction. Uh, we are not also coming from this direction because here's the sea and here's the land. Uh, so this is not the runway, this is not the runway, and this is the runway. So we are coming on the left runway and that will be 30 left. So this is the runway that will be coming from. It's the land and we'll be approaching from 30 left. So this is already selected. Uh, taxi out, taxi in, just forget it because we are not going to do the taxi. We will be just uh, at there at the runway ready to take off. And once you have selected all these things, uh, just uh, forget about the weather options. You don't need these uh, weather options right now. Uh, open route finder. Simply click this one, uh, find route. Okay, so now this, uh, the flight planner has made a flight plan for you. This is basically the SID and this is basically the STAR. Okay, so you have to remember these two, the SID and the STAR. So we will be, as I told you before, Melum, we will be taking off from Melum and we will be uh, touching uh, Bubin and then uh, the runway. Okay, so we have the flight plan. And let's now get down to the real business. And that's create a new, new flight. Okay. So we are going to select the 737-800, the default airplane. And that's uh, there already in this uh, X-Plane 11 flight simulator. Uh, over here, uh, simply search for OPKC. Karachi was already selected. The runway is already selected 25 right. So let's check which runway we have selected. We selected 25 right. But if you want to select another runway, you can simply click customize. And uh, you can select the runway from here. So that's it. So weather is clear. Uh, time, I've kept it uh, the morning time. Uh, right now it's 5.29 p.m. But, I'm, but I will be flying out at 11.36 um, in the morning because we need some light so that we can see what's going on outside and uh, 
let's uh, wait for this game to load once it loads uh, then we're going to make the flight plan we are now going to zoom out a bit and uh, we are going to look at the cockpit from a distance so that you know all of the instruments are there and uh, it's beautiful it's amazing I just love this feeling okay um, now we have uh, this cockpit with us and this is the FMS the flight management system and this is the most important thing because uh, we will be using this flight management system to basically enter the flight plan so let's open up this uh, flight plan uh, once you open it it opens up like this remember one thing just uh, clear it okay and then click the flight plan FPLN so this is the procedure that you're going to use if you're using the default 737800 in X-Plane 11 open the FMS clear the error and then select flight plan so now it's asking you for origin it's asking you for destination and two so these are the three basic information that we're going to enter over here so let's get back to our flight plan you can see this thing that will be flying out from OPKC that's Karachi to OMDB that's Dubai so let's enter this information simply click over here in this text box once it will start blinking we'll type OPKC and then we'll write OMDB here you go as I told you before the SID that's Melom M E L O M so we're going to enter it M E L O M and 2 so now we have set the initial flight plan now it's basically time to select the route and the waypoints so every route takes you to a waypoint and each waypoint basically leads you to the runway that you're going to land on so click next page and over here select your route so it's a325 so we're going to enter a325 click this button so you'll see some black boxes over here so then we'll enter a454 that's the route a454 once you enter the route it will automatically give you the waypoint that's p-u-n-e-l over here it's p-a-r-e-t uh, you don't have to really uh, match it at times it matches at time it doesn't as i told you before that um, you have to use multiple flight planners uh, to make your flight plan and so uh, it's uh, easy to make uh, but at times it gets difficult because once you don't get the right uh, waypoint it gets difficult for you but forget about it as uh, you have your own database of this uh, flight management system so whatever the waypoint comes in here it's correct just fly to that waypoint and uh, you will land at the airport that's um, how I've been flying planes so don't really worry about that but it's the route that counts the most uh, so uh, this is what you're going to select so a454 we have uh, basically added then you're going to do this R462 R462 here you go then you have T508 T508 enter this one and uh, next one is P574 P574 so this is the route and uh, the last one we are going to enter Bubin bingo so it's there so you're going to fly through this route a325 to punel then you're going to take a454 to vuset r462 mixam t508 to soud and p5 p5 excuse me p574 to bubin and bubin is basically the star that as i told you before is it's a standard arrival okay so we have this information right now in the FMS so click execute and this flight plan is saved now we are going to uh, select the departure airport and the arrival airport for this click this button and you will see the departure airport and the arrival airports so our departure click this one it's runway 25R so select the runway and you will see these uh, waypoints so it's uh, M E L O 3 B so we're going to select this one and that's it click execute now we're going to select the arrival airport in the arrival airport 
select this one first B U B I 9 C so we are going to look for it and do we have a B if you don't find 9 C 9 Bravo is good this thing is happening because the database of this flight management system might be different than the flight plan being generated by this website so due to this difference in the database you're feeling this feeling this difference but otherwise you can make a flight plan and I'm telling you it's correct you can check it afterwards when you're flying the plane you'll know whether this flight plan is correct or not I'll also tell you how to check your flight plan whether it's correct or not but this is the right way to do it this is how I've been doing it if I don't find the right uh, uh, star I select the other star that's available and it takes me to the right runway and uh, now we're going to land on uh, 30L uh, so we don't have uh, 30L so it means I've selected the wrong one see so this is how I have told you you can always find out that you're selecting the wrong one so we're going to s select this one and now this BUBI 8C is going to lead me towards 30L so it's so good so even if it's not there uh, the star that's coming in the flight plan you can always check different uh, stars given in the uh, FMS and you can see whether it's right or not press execute and here you go you have your flight plan it was really easy to make oops now it's done I forgot to basically click this one U L D O T so you have to also select transition as well so transition has to be selected it's U L D O T uh, so now the flight plan is uh, is ready now we'll check the flight plan it's up the most important thing is legs always check the legs um, because if there is any error in the flight plan you will see something written like discontinuity over here so we're going to check for that if no discontinuity is coming it means the flight plan is correct okay so we're good to go this flight plan is really good and uh, we can take off right now and uh, this was a short tutorial on how to make a flight plan and enter it into the system the next tutorial that I'm going to bring for you is how to get your plane up in the air and the third one will be to how to land the plane in Dubai. Thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates.